It's common knowledge now that the U.S. government is driving these anti-government protests here in Thailand. And while a lot of the organizations and individuals involved are starting to kind of backpedal and make excuses as to why this is, there's still a few people trying to completely deny it altogether. One of these people is Anand Nampa, who not only is he denying foreign government interference, he's also denying any link between his movement and the billionaire-led opposition here in Thailand, which includes Thaksin Chinawat's Pe Thai Party and Tanatong and his disbanded Future Forward, now known as Move Forward Party. This is a Thai Inquirer article from November 12th. It's titled, Anand Denies That Tanatong Is Funding the Movement. The article claims, Tanatan is not behind or involved in this movement at all. He wouldn't even buy me drinks the last time we met after I was released from prison. Now, this is Anand referring to this photograph of him with Tanatan immediately after he was released from prison. So you're an opposition leader. You just got out of prison. You want to go right back to leading protests. So the first thing you do is meet a billionaire opposition leader who has nothing to do with your movement. And if that's the case, why did you meet him? What is Anand's connection to Tanatan if Tanatan has absolutely nothing to do with this movement at all? Think back to late last year when Tanatan was literally leading these protests in the streets himself. This is a December 2019th Thai PBS article titled, Tanatan vows to bring people onto streets after a rally in downtown Bangkok. And the article claims, Tanatan said the rally was just a harbinger of more political activities against the Prayut government. He threatened to bring people to the streets next month. And of course he did. And this is a Reuters article from February, 2020. Hundreds joined protest against ban of opposition party in Thailand. And of course they're referring to Tanatan and his banned Future Forward Party. Now the protests kind of went to a standstill because of the COVID-19 crisis, but when they started back up again, while Tanatan and his uh, political party weren't really leading the protests from the front anymore, they were still regularly showing up at rallies to kind of put their stamp of approval on them and to kind of encourage the protesters to continue creating chaos in the streets. This is from September 19th, 2020, and it's titled, Tanatan Claims Rally is Victory for Thai People. Now. The September 19th rally was this very big rally that the student protesters organized at Sanam Luang in Bangkok. And here he is at this major rally, putting his stamp of approval on it. So how is this not him being involved in the movement? How is he not involved at all if he's always showing up at these rallies and if he was literally leading them when they first started at the end of 2019? But not only did Anand lie about Tanatan's involvement in the movement, he also lied about these foreign funded NGOs being involved in the movement. The Thai Inquirer article says, as for claims that foreign organizations are funding NGOs, such as the Internet Dialogue on Law Reform, I-Law, which they believe is behind the movement, the protest leader said the argument does not make sense. Many NGOs are being funded by private organizations, and I-Law is not involved in the movement, he said. Now, for, first of all, Anand Nampa himself belongs to an organization that is funded by the U.S. government. This is Anand Nampa, and this is his affiliation with Thai Lawyers for Human Rights. If we go to the U.S. government's National Endowment for Democracy webpage, we see Thai Lawyers for Human Rights mentioned by name receiving over a million Thai bot the first year they were founded. So Anand himself is a product of foreign interference. But here he's claiming that I-Law has absolutely nothing to do with the movement and that it's funded by private organizations. If we just go to I-Law's own about us webpage, we see National Endowment for Democracy listed right there. The U.S. government is not a private organization. It's a foreign government, and it funds everything ILAW does inside of Thailand. Claiming that ILAW has nothing to do with the movement is also an absolute lie. It's a ridiculous lie, in fact. ILAW was actually organizing the petition for the charter rewrite. The charter rewrite is the second of three key demands made by the protesters and is a demand that Anand himself repeats every time he gets on stage. And if we go to ILAW's own social media accounts, like their official Twitter account here, everything is about the protest. And re let's remember the, the September 19th rally that Tanatan showed up at, the, the major rally that people like Anand were on stage for. 
Here is ILAW announcing that the deadline for their petition will also be on September 19th and that they will have a booth at Sanam Luang. So they're literally at that rally. So how is that them not being involved in the rally? And here is actually their booth on September 19th at Sanam Luang collecting signatures. And again, this is this is ILAW's own official Twitter account. This is Pia Boot, Tanaton's right-hand man at Sanam Luang at the ILAW booth signing their U.S. government-funded petition to rewrite the charter. And here's the program director of ILAW, a Mr. Ying Chi, and he's bragging about how Tanaton showed up at one of the rallies that ILAW was also at to sign their U.S. government-funded petition to rewrite Thailand's charter. So ILAW is at the rally. Tanaton is at the rally. Tanaton is signing ILAW's U.S. government-funded petition to rewrite Thailand's entire constitution. So to claim that either one of these are not involved is ridiculous. The fact of the matter is they're both involved, they're both working together, and they're also working with Anan Nampa. Anan Nampa is not just lying to people that disagree with him. He's also lying to people who have placed their trust in him. He's promising young people this bright future free of corruption when he himself is demonstrating on a daily basis just how corrupt he himself is. He's taking money from foreign governments and then he's lying about it. He's associating with a corrupt billionaire-led opposition and then he's lying about it. And he's lying at a time when even other people in his movement are beginning to accept that these things are fact. While they're trying to make excuses for it, he's still at step one trying to deny all of it. And if we just look at where the U.S. has done this elsewhere around the globe, places like Libya, Syria, Egypt, Tunisia, Ukraine, Belarus, Venezuela, Hong Kong, every single one of these places has been plunged into chaos, uh, societies divided, economies ruined, nothing good is going to come out of this. And the fact that Anand Nampa is lying about it, why is he lying about it? If he's doing nothing wrong, why is he lying about it? He's lying about it because he knows if he tells the truth, people following him will stop following him, his movement will be over, and his own self-serving agenda will come to an end. So I hope not just people who oppose Anand to begin with, consider this information and how dangerous what he is doing actually is. I hope the people following him realize that if they really want to see Thailand improve as a country, following people like Anand is the last thing that will actually accomplish that. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share. If you subscribe to the channel, that helps a lot, helps the channel grow. And as always, thank you very much for watching.